Yeah, sir, go ahead and come across comm. State your name and rank for the record, please. Trent Arnold, Lieutenant JG. Flying to Naples today. <laughs> That's Stennett, he's being a dork. It starts off growing up uh, with absolutely no desire to want to be a pilot. Didn't even think about it. Matter of fact, if you want to get technical, I didn't really have a plan coming out of high school anyways. I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do. My priorities were not about my future, they were more about the present. I chose the hard route. I mean, I chose to be a pilot. I chose um, jets as my first choice and got it. And I'm very proud that I chose the hard route. Am I overstressing myself out? Is this really worth it? All the stress and can't sleep and the concern about whether I'm going to be able to do this or not. But I kept going and I passed every single flight. I didn't fail a single one. And looking back at it now, to turn around and become a pilot, and that being something that I absolutely love to do, it's actually kind of amazing. Of this? No, because you guys won't tell me. <laughs> how you doing, sir? No, it's not. Uh, I'm doing good. Hey, how y'all doing? Doing good. Twice. <laughs> you guys doing good? <laughs> All right. All right, who wants to do some pull-ups? <laughs> Nobody wants to do any pull-ups? Did I already ask you guys if you had any questions you want me to answer during my retirement? So I'm thinking during my speech, I may take a second to answer some questions from some sailors. Anybody else got anything for me? I thought you were going to answer. At my retirement ceremony, oh, wow. if I pick that one. I'm down to just over two weeks left in my Navy career. And I was thinking, you know, I've been at FRC since May of 2014. The majority of my time was at Hangar 1000. But over the last six to eight months, I got the opportunity to move down to NADEP and work with the civilians down there. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> All right. He came in and do it every day as if it was his first day. I mean, he always had a ton of energy and and his people skills, he always made everything, like never attacked people self-worth. He made everybody feel like they're part of the team, so. Well, no, seriously, I've said this, I said this the last time I was in here. This is the last meeting I'm gonna be at next week. Thursday's the change of command. Um, I suspect that the sailors will probably be off. <laughs> His personality, I think, uh, given the nature of what we do, it's great when you meet somebody, especially uh, a military commander like he is, and with his background, that's just uh, takes it serious when you need need it, but but yet can have fun doing what we do. Truthfully, everyone knows he's a PT guru. Okay, and I love that about him because. He would interact with sailors and challenge them to be the very best that they could be. He would challenge them in the sit-ups, push-ups, run, you name it. He would challenge it. And what I loved most about that was that if a sailor had something going on where they weren't good with the sit-ups or the push-ups, he had no problem stepping in and volunteering his time to help them meet the goals required by the Navy.
when I first joined the Navy, I didn't even know how to spell coffee. Uh, Starbucks is a normal stop for me four out of five days a week. I get to go in there, talk to the staff there. They're pretty fun. I always tell them I'm going to come in and manage the store better. But I have met a lot of good people there. I'm to the point where I can walk in there and uh, customers that are regulars in there and I were on a first name basis and we talk about my Navy career and we talk about what they do and it's, it's a good networking opportunity. It's all about getting along with people. interesting part about living right on the I-95 corridor or, or stopping every morning at Starbucks that's right on I-95 is you get a whole bunch of tourists that are traveling to Orlando to go to Disney or SeaWorld or something. So I walk in there in my uniform and a lot of families come in and they've never seen somebody in the military before. Um, so the kids just stare at the uniform and the, the parents are very thankful for my service and stuff like that. So it's uh. On any given day, I can go in there and get a free drink just because people haven't seen the military and when they see them, they just want to support them and it's, I mean, I'll take a free drink, put the window up and I'll roll it down when we get close. Mm -hmm. Like it's a real day and I'll put my cover on because I'm going to sleep. That's my normal routine. <laughs> How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Good to see you. Oh yeah, roger that. Thanks. Welcome to the greatest base in America, sir. You got it, Welcome thank you. Yeah. See ya. Have a good one. Love that guy. Ever since I checked in here at FRC, he, he came to my NDOT class and um, immediately got a good vibe from him. Really felt like someone that was approachable, uh, able to talk to. Uh, and ever since then, I, um, I've, I've talked to him throughout his uh, tour here. Um, really kind of got some uh, good leadership uh, experience from him and uh, just advice as far as officer programs. Now that he's retiring, best wishes and uh, hope uh, all goes well in the civilian world and thank you for your service. Every interaction with him is different and just as entertaining as the last one. When he came in and he had that blow up T Rex. My favorite moment with Lieutenant Commander Arnold was when I scared him. But then he told me don't do it. I'd say that would have to be when he was in the dinosaur scene. Um, honestly, I don't want to remember anything. I have to say, his eyes, they just sparkle, you know?
All right, so we're talking about influential people in my life. Tom Cruise in Top Gun, Lady Gaga, Han Solo, Commander Carter, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'll be back. Jeff Probst from Survivor, Mickey Mouse, Brutus, the mascot for Ohio State, Michael Scott. But on a serious note, there's several influential people throughout my career. Theodore Roosevelt, a huge positive influence. And he became an influence after I executed my first carrier landing. And it was on the USS Theodore Roosevelt. And I was interested to know, you know, what this guy did to um, get an aircraft carrier. And after reading stuff about him, doing some research, he became an influential figure in my career. And I, and I based some of my style off of some of the things that he said. Then in 2010, I was found not physically qualified to fly. Man, that hurt. I remember that day very well. I walked out of medical and sat in my truck for a little while. And after I got myself together, I drove home and took my flight suit off for the last time ever. I was struggling about that a little bit, so I took my flight suit outside to my flagpole in my front yard and I lowered the American and the Navy flag that was flying, took them off, and then I put my flight suit on the, on the flagpole and raised it to half mass and flew it there for a while. That was a rough day. Going to leave this rope down In my time, in my time, I will roll, roll, roll. In a bed, in a bed, by the water side, I will lay my head. Listen to the river sing sweet songs to my, my soul. Even though I absolutely love what I do at work, there is something that I love more, and that's going home to my family. But as soon as I get home, the work day's over, and it's family time. Playing out back, in the backyard, or having a pretend lightsaber duel with Landon. Watching TV my family because ultimately jumping out of helicopters ends doing burnt rep ends being a pilot ends and even being in the Navy has an end when all that's over it's your family that you still have and family never ends So this is it. Today I'm retiring. I'm nervous, but excited. I'm sad, but happy. It wasn't a decision that I took lightly, but it's the right one. I've enjoyed every single moment, and I already miss it. I'm not the same Trent Arnold that I was 24 years ago. I'm better because of my time in the Navy. I've learned to be confident, to be humble, to be a decision maker, to take time to help others, and to lead. All skills that I did not possess coming out of high school. I'm proud to say that I served in the United States Navy. Now it's time to leave the
You're still here? Retirement's over. Go home. 